round one is a go here in this competitive modern league. We don't have any lands. Always a good way to start. 17 land, it's, that's going to happen, you know? Well, we have, we only have Mountain, but we don't have any blue cards, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Plus, we have Probe for redraws, Metamorphose, and we're going to bottom this Blood Moon. We do have a combo. We have the Kiln Fiend and the Battle Rage. And our opponent has a Mutavolt, so likely Merfolk. Well, I kind of like all these cards, so I'm not going to loot in quite yet. And we're going to start by probing. Could totally see just pitching Apostle's Blessing to looting. Okay. So they have a dismember, so that's a problem. Hmm. If they spreading sees us, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. All right, so I might want one of these blessings. So what does that mean? We're going to get spreading seized. Uh, we might want to protect our kiln fiends to so probably play it on turn three. So we might want to seer visions to find a third land. So that signals to me that we want to discard blessing and mana morphos, but that might mean that we don't have enough resources to actually play battle rage. But we'll we have draw steps. We're going to try and get there. So that's it. That's what we're doing. And then if our opponent has like a Harbinger or something, we're probably just dead. I can see opponent just attacking for two here. But they are going to spread us. So we're definitely going to fetch a Steam Vents at some point. I'm not sure. Like we, we want to do it before we cast Seer Visions. Okay, well that helps. That helps a lot actually. Um... I think I'm just going to do it tapped. Yeah, I don't think I want this other Kiln Fiend. I think we're kind of just like locked in on hoping that Blessing gets us there. So they can violence Silvergill Adept, and then they'll have a Dismember that I know about, and a bunch of other cards. So, still pretty scary. Well, Lightning Bolt's not bad. Probably going to need to fetch another Steam Vents. Which is going to be painful. Maybe, maybe need another blow. Oh no, what is this? Okay. Maybe you want more Bloodstained Myers. Well, my opponent's mono blue, but we'll give it protection from black. See how that works out. All right, so we're at 10 life. Not great. Uh, I think we would prefer to have something like Thing in the Ice in this matchup, but we're going to try and kill our opponent with the combo. Metamorphose Bolt Battle Rage is 23. I think, if I did my math right, my mathing, there's a hair in my mouth. Ah, oh, another dismember. Boo! Boo on you! Alright, so we're very dead. Blood Moon, probably not going to do it. Alright, 
there's our things. We're not dead. We are we're pretty dead, but not dead dead. I just need a lord or a way to remove my thing. Um, but yeah, we're pretty dead. We needed them to just have a bunch of merfolk instead of more dismembers, but tall order, tall order. I wonder if Pyromancer is good in this matchup. All right, I can beat a second Aether Vial. I can definitely beat that. Am I alive for now? All right, well, I can't even flip the thing in the ice. By flip, I mean transform, obviously. Uh, I can't loot. Could drop Blood Moon, but that kind of screws me more than them. Uh, I think I'm better off just keeping open Lightning Bolt. They didn't have any lands. They didn't move their vial up to four. So they have like a bunch of one and two mana cards. But if they had those, then I imagine they would have just cast them. All right, so now vial's at four. Basically just trying to figure out what's in my opponent's hand. Because it's at least three spells. I guess it could be more aether vials, but... If it were a spell that removed my O4, I would just be dead already. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. It's better to do this. So we may actually drop defensive Blood Moon at some point. Okay, we're at two, so that growth doesn't necessarily help. So, if they have Master Waves, I can't win. If they have Curse Catcher, I can win. I think I try to kill them. And play Looting. I don't know, though. Man, why am I two and not three? Maybe I shouldn't have been a coward and just gotten an island instead of the Steam Vents. Seems tough though. So many of my spells are red. If they had another spreading seas, I'd just be cold. Uh hmm. So no Master Waves. I am thoroughly confused as to what my opponent has in hand. I imagine if they had a Spell Pierce, they would have used it on the looting, but maybe not. Maybe they do just have another Dismember. I don't know. I, I assume they would have just tried to kill my thing and kill me, but... <clears throat> okay. That's legit. That's legit. That plays. Well, I don't want to get spell pierced, so. Is there any reason for me to not sleight of hand here? Oh man, Reveler. Either I'm dead or they're dead, so not like this matters much, but. Yeah, is this Harbinger? Ah! All right. Tilt. All right, maybe Pyromancers. Can I not make a new pile? Okay. Blessing. I don't think I want any of this other stuff. I don't think they're going to have Spell Skite or anything. Snag is just not very effective. So we can definitely cut Blood Moon. 
Kind of like all our cards, though. I can see not having the Pyromancers here and actually just trying to kill them with, with things and Kiln Fiends and Battle Rages and stuff, but they do have a lot of disruption. I feel like I might want to cut a Battle Rage. And just like, a Pyromancer? That seems just awful. Very, very awful. Maybe I'm supposed to cut Swiss Beer. Man, this is tough. I don't have I don't have a lot of help, you know? I don't have a lot of sweet cards to bring in. Eh. If I'm on the play, would I rather establish Pyromancer or Swiss Beer? I think Swiss Beer, actually. But I also think Swiss Beer might be better on the draw, so I don't know. Um yeah, our hand kind of stinks, <clears throat> but we do have a thing. Uh, I could potentially just play this on turn three. Maybe I should have brought in a Shattering Spree. Not the greatest thought to have, you know, after you've already presented and drawn your opening hand, but yeah, I wonder if I'm supposed to play thing on two or wait until turn three. Maybe just play it on three. Okay, well, now that I have that... Feel like I'm just supposed to jam. This this is like kind of a threat, but not really because if if they do have a removal spell, and I blessing, I only have battle rage to actually pump it, so I would need a lot more help to actually make it lethal. So I'm actually fine just like throwing that thing under the bus and then playing thing in the ice this turn. Bolt is not bad. Roar! Go, Mighty O4. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Merfolk is probably not a good matchup. Feel like I'm supposed to just bolt and block. Possible that I should just take it, because if I draw another spell, I could just bolt them and lethal them. Well, if I'm going to Serum Visions. Yeah. I'm gonna see our visions. I should probably crack my fetch. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna play off the fetch land that I would want to keep the cards intact, so. Do I want this? Do I want a Swiss Spear because it can deal a little chip damage and that might be helpful? Or do I want to bottom this and try and get like a Reveler in case things actually go poorly? I think I may actually want to just get a Reveler. At least get me closer, you know? So, Master Silvergill, yeah, a bunch of stupid fishes, cool. Take seven to the face. Face! How can I lose? I'm pretty sure I can't lose. I have Battle Rage and a Protection Spell and they have nothing in hand. So they need Draw Step to Silvergill into something that matters? So they need to draw like Running Vapor Snags? 
So obviously, Dismember doesn't beat 7 8. It's so big. Don't mind me, I'm just over here shuffling a terrible standard deck. <laughs> terrible, terrible deck. It's tense, you know? I need to do something with my hands. Can't just sit around here and wait. Yup, that's to be expected. Lord of Atlantis is the revealed card, which they did not have before, so now I'm pretty sure they're dead. They're probably thinking, well, I'm not dead, because I can just jump lock, but... Rawr! Alright. Shattering Spree, maybe. Pyromancer, maybe. I don't think I want the Swan Songs. I also think that Swiss Spear probably just doesn't do anything. I don't think that they ever care about this card. I feel like I'm supposed to have more removal in my sideboard and kind of like transition into a control deck against Merfolk. Uh, but instead I have Death Shadows, Empirical Links, Vapor Snags, and Swan Songs, and neither of those really help me here. I think it's going to be tough to protect my thing, my creature from Apostle's Blessing when I'm on the draw. I do think Pyromancer is good. I think Kiln Fiend is worse. Alright, let's try this. Just a mishmash of stuff. I have a rhyme and reason for what I'm doing, I assure you. This hand looks pretty good, actually. I'm not sure where it's going to go. But it is a hand. We get to start with the Swiss Spear. We have Mutagenic Growth, Lightning Bolt. Uh, eventually we'll play this Bedlam Reveler. Curse Catcher's kind of a pain, but as long as we don't jam into that thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get a Steam Fence. Maybe just a Mountain. Yeah, Mountain's fine. If I get a Steam Vents and he Spreading Seas it, then I have an Island. If he Spreading Seas my Mountain, then I have an Island. If... I play Silver Falls and he spreading sees that, then I have an island and a mountain, which is basically the same thing, so I don't see a real need to get an island here. Alright, multiple curse catchers. Dude, where are my static casters at? That's what I want to know. I'd bring that in. Oh yes. Uh second reveler gross. Never what you want, because two never helps, unless they're countering your revelers. Alright, so we kind of want more land, but we also kind of want more spells, so we're sort of in a pickle. I do want that thing in the ice, uh, and I want to play that with Blessing back up. So I guess I just keep this island... Uh, I don't really want to bolt one of these Curse Catchers, but at the same time, I'm not going to be able to bolt anything else because of the Curse Catchers. I could block and hold up Mutagenic Growth, but I don't know. I, I feel like we're on like a control plan, too, so I feel like I should just not even attack because I'm nowhere near actually killing my opponent. And yet, I'm going to attack because I'm probably stupid. Oh, my. Well, I'm going to bolt one of those Curse Catchers before that Kira comes down, because otherwise my bolt isn't going to do a whole lot. Thing. In. Swift Spear. In. Oh, you didn't block? You coward. What a coward. Did you know that Bedlam Reveler is a horror? I'm not sure if that's a bug or a feature in this deck because bouncing your Reveler sounds kind of sweet, but at the same time, you probably just want to clear their board and attack them for 10, so. Oh, Curse Catcher. 
Well, do I trade this blessing for the curse catcher? I think I do. I don't think that this is very good, and I probably should have realized that this was probably going to happen. And he dispelled it instead. My god. I'm in trouble. I'm in loads of trouble. Alright, so I don't think I'm reveling this turn. I could draw an untapped land, which is, you know, all my lands. And I could revel her this turn. Well, I guess I don't even need to. I could just mutagenic growth. That might just be better. It's taking a lot of damage. But I think it's worth it. What you got? Snag to spell. Crap. I have no idea if this is even close to correct. Vapor Snag is very good against Bedlam Reveler. Okay. Uh, so Snag is 6 damage. If they Snag and attack with everyone, I think that's okay. Because we can play Swiss Spear, we can attack with... Could, could only attack with one Swiss Spear, that is true. Puts my opponent down to 7. And then next turn I have two cantrips, likely three, maybe four. So I think I'm going to need both Swift Spears anyway, but... What does what does that Curse Catcher do for me? Like, if they have Snag, they Snag this, they fire up Mutavolt. That's two, four, Snag is five, Curse Catcher is six. I'm still at one. And if I keep Curse Catcher, if I keep the Swift Spear back, then they keep Curse Catcher back, which is actually bad too. Which I don't want. So I'm not going to be able to play a Phyrexian Mana Spell uh, paying life no matter what happens. So the way this game ended up, I'm glad that I was attacking with these Swiss Spears and actually trading damage because playing a long game is just something that can't really happen. Because I don't have enough removal and they have Akira. And Kira, Kira's kind of beating me up. And because of their hand, I know that if they draw a Lord, they still can't lethal me. Uh, because they need the mana to snag and, and potentially animate Mutavolt. So yeah, I think this is safe. And then it's just a matter of, like, how much does my opponent attack with? And is Dispel going to actually, like, screw me? Like, Dispel on a Manamorphose is a gigantic beating. She eats two of my mana. It's possible I could lead with Metamorphose. They might not dispel it in the hopes of, like, snagging a Battle Rage or something. Like, maybe they just attack with Kira this turn and that's it? Yeah. We scared them. Scared them off. Okay. So, they have Snag and Dispel and a Magic card. So if I play Metamorphose, they're probably going to dispel it. And then if I attack with everyone, maybe they don't dispel it. Maybe they can't. That might be a thing. Possibly they might need Snag and Block with Mutavolt as things. Yep. Alright, so they have two blockers, a Snag and a Dispel. Likely what's going to happen is that they're going to go chump chump and snag my other creature. And then I'm on a two turn clock, but maybe I can kill. I don't think this growth is going to do anything. Possible I should have added green mana off my Metamorphose in case I hit a growth, but 
I don't think I have any effective growth targets this turn anyway. Okay. So I've not played a land. I've not used my red mana, which maybe was a mistake. Maybe I should have added blue mana. Because then at least I could cast a sleight of hand. I don't have another basic mountain in my deck, so I can't even replay the Reveler, so that's bad news. So I think I have to keep going. If he dispels this, then he's dead. Because I can fetch a steam vent, sleight of hand, and all three of my things are lethal, and he can only stop two. Go, little Swiss Spears! Every point of damage mattering. It's possible I should have bolted one of the Curse Catchers on the turn where he played Kira on my turn because I wasn't going to get to bolt anything else profitably. Okay, so that resolves. Which is kind of strange. Because now I can... If, he, if this resolves... Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. Boom. One life? Sleight of hand? Two lethal threats? What's up? Holy crap. That was great. That was some great magic. <laughs> 